And as we're dealing with potential air quality issues, it's good to stay indoors because outside you can get a headache sometimes. We were learning right. a little bit about the air quality index yesterday about mm -hmm. how uh, DHEC doesn't issue an alert unless it's more than 100. They weren't really right. expecting that. They said we've been in a moderate category over the past couple of days. True. Yeah. For the upstate, you know, it's really just been the smell. Mm -hmm. You'll occasionally smell like what's a distant campfire kind of a smell. You'll see some of the haze, but uh, never really rising to the uh, unhealthy levels. That, of course, uh, not the case, as we have been saying all week long in western North Carolina and for at least one more day we're going to see these unhealthy uh, air quality levels continue. So we're going to keep a first alert weather day in place through tomorrow for western North Carolina. Again, due to these ongoing wildfires and all of the smoke that they're spreading out over the area, continue to limit your time outdoors. Keep windows closed, especially if you fall into those sensitive groups, folks with respiratory issues, heart conditions, uh, expectant mothers, uh, infants, young children want to keep them indoors out of that air as much as you possibly can. Keep your windows closed, too, as we mentioned, because, of course, you don't want to let that air into the house easily either. Most of these alerts, places like Jackson, uh, Haywood, Transylvania County is off toward the west. One, these alerts have been extended until midnight tomorrow, but two, they're those code orange, unhealthy for sensitive groups uh, levels of uh, air quality. But for Macon County, it's a code red alert, meaning it's unhealthy quality for everybody across the board. So just continue to do that uh, same uh, advice of limiting time outside, keeping those windows closed. Warm, dry air mass still not going anywhere for at least another 24 hours here as high pressure remains in control. But finally, it does look like we get some rain in the forecast here with this cold front back from parts of Missouri to Arkansas sweeping into the area going into Friday. It looks like it's going to bring more than just one round of showers with it. We're not talking drought busting rains here, but definitely something we sorely need. So after one more dry day tomorrow, we're going to cloud up late tomorrow night. Then you see here by midday Friday, we get some pretty widespread showers breaking out across western North Carolina. It's not going to be a steady rain, but it's rain and hopefully enough to help the firefighters gain a little ground against those fires. We'll see more of the focus for the showers on Friday uh, begin to shift here farther into the upstate that was supposed to pause. It uh, just kept marching ahead there. So uh, moral of the story there, as you see, is it looks like there's the potential for some slightly steadier rain going throughout the day on Saturday. The hope is that we can nudge that a little farther north into western North Carolina to get some more significant rainfall totals from there. But I'll tell you the first round on Friday, just rain total wise looking a little less than impressive here where we get the rain. We're talking about an inch, uh, excuse me, a tenth of an inch to two tenths of an inch of rainfall. It's better than nothing, but not really something that I think is going to be terribly beneficial. With that uh, wider spread uh, rain that we see uh, throughout the day on Saturday that you kind of saw, kind of saw, excuse me, running through there. That looks like it has a greater potential, especially across parts of South Carolina and into northern Georgia, of putting down perhaps half an inch to maybe three quarters of an inch of rainfall. So we could bump these numbers up. And if it takes a little bit more of a more northerly jog, maybe we get some more of that uh, benefit uh, reaching you in parts of western North Carolina, too. But it's the best shot at some significant rain we have had in months at this point. One more day of uh, near record temps tomorrow. 81 the high upstate then showery and cooler 67 Friday 50s for highs over the weekend before we stabilize back to the 60s next week. Continued air quality alert. So a first alert weather day in the mountains for tomorrow 78 then Friday through Sunday in the 50s with occasional showers.